Hey game makers, I uh, just wanted to show a quick tutorial for uh, how to solve a problem that I've been avoiding uh, solving for quite some time. And when I sat down and decided to finally figure it out, I was actually surprised by how easy uh, it was to implement this. So uh, you may have noticed by the title that we're talking about mouse zooming. Uh, so what do I mean by that? So let me show you in Photoshop. So I've got a fairly large image here. Uh, and you'll notice my cursor, uh, so follow my cursor, and I'm going to zoom in with the mouse wheel. Uh, I'm going to put my mouse just right here, kind of in, in the white. And as I zoom in, my mouse pretty much stays right where it's supposed to be. And I can do the same thing while zooming out. So I can pick like the bottom of that letter. As I'm zooming out, it will stay right there. So that means I don't have to pan around so much, I can just put my mouse where I want to zoom and it'll zoom in towards that area. Very handy, very nice, uh, rather than just, you know, zooming and centering the view on whatever, you know, the whatever uh, on the center of the mouse or something like that. It's a little bit better user experience and can be really useful for any game that has a cursor and you can zoom in the view. Uh, so how do you actually do this in Game Maker? Uh, and like I said earlier, surprisingly easy. So let me show you the setup first. So I've got a fairly large room, uh, 3840 by 2160, uh, with a view. Uh, the view is default 1280 by 720, so pretty pretty small. Uh, and uh, I've got an object that I just called Zoom Test, uh, but it's got a few variables in it. I've got a zoom level. Uh, basically, the higher the zoom, the smaller my view, which means the more zoomed in it looks. And I've got a, a zoom min and a zoom max just for my own sanity. I don't need that. Uh, that was old code from when I was experimenting. Uh, and then base width and base height. And this is basically what my view should be at a zoom of one. Uh, in the step event, I've got a simple, uh, you know, control the zoom, so mouse wheel up, zoom plus one, and then I use event user zero. Uh, this recalculates the view position every time the view, the zoom changes with the mouse wheel. So you could call this in the step event, but it's slightly more efficient to just do it once whenever the, the zoom changes. Uh, so that's why I do it here, but you know, you could throw it in the step event if performance isn't a primary concern. Uh, I've also added just the feature to pan around with the keyboard. Pretty simple uh, to just slide the camera around. There's nothing fancy going on there. Uh, I've also got code to clamp the view to the room. I'll turn this on in a second. You can see what that looks like. Uh, but here's the, the magic, right? User find of it uh, zero. So, and like I said, super simple. Uh, so you basically have three steps. So step one, get the current ratio of the mouse to the view. So if you look at this back in Photoshop again, the idea is that as you zoom, your mouse doesn't move around. And the way we do that, or the way we make sure that your mouse X and your mouse Y stays the same, is we figure out how far away the mouse is from the left side of the screen and the top of the screen compared to the entire width of the current view and the entire height of the current view. So you end up with like a percentage of how far in and into the screen, both left from the left and from the top, the cursor is. Uh, and we need to retain that ratio. And that's what gives you that smooth zoom that uh, goes towards the cur seemingly goes towards where your cursor is. Uh, and it, it's, it feels great. Uh, so once you, the, this mouse X and mouse Y variable is holding that ratio. Uh, the way we get that ratio is the current mouse X minus the, you know, current view X, which, uh, will kind of zero out the mouse X. So you get kind of the, the real, how far away from the top left corner of the view the mouse is, and then divide that by the total width. And that'll give you a percentage, uh, and same with, you know, Y, but with height and Y, uh, and then you know, you do your simple view, uh, zoom. So, and again, I divide by zoom uh, to make my view smaller the higher I zoom in because it makes more sense to me that way. Uh, so just straight up 
view width view is base width divided by zoom. Uh, so my base view is 12 width is 1280. My max zoom is 10. So the smallest my width view ever gets is a, uh, 128. Uh, Finally, you update the position of the view based on the ratio of the mouse position. So what we do is we actually, so we set mouse, based on mouse X. So starting with mouse X, I subtract the view width view times my ratio. So if my, my new width view is like uh, 900 and my percentage is 0.25, uh, you know, quarter of, 900 times 0.25. So we start with wherever mouse X is, and then we subtract uh, 225, and that's where view X is positioned. And you know all that math ends up with the mouse staying in the exact same place. So let's see this actually in action. So I've got my beautiful starscape here. It's a little stretched out because I wanted a big room. Uh, let me zoom out first. So if I put my cursor right here and I zoom out, you see that my cursor stays right on that star. So I can zoom all the way out and I can say, oh, I want to go in and see that big star. And I zoom right in and my mouse stays right on it. I can continue zooming onto that star and zoom out on that star. Zoom out, let me pan over a little bit. So I want to go in and see that nebula. And it's really slick, really easy, and uh, has lots of applications for uh, different UIs, or maybe you're doing a real-time strategy where you want to zoom in and out, or a role-playing game with a map. Uh, so really easy to implement, and uh, should be pretty lightweight for the code, too. So hopefully this helps somebody, and uh, go make something awesome. See you.